Yeah, Lisa and Scott, before the judge made his decision, family members of Joseph Roberson got to say their piece in court to the two men responsible for his death after we spoke with some of Joey's friends about what he meant to them. 17-year-old Joseph Roberson was shot and killed along Bowens Road in Springbrook Township near Moscow almost two years ago. Today, his family and friends faced those involved with his death in the courtroom. Many of Roberson's friends wore shirts with his face on it and the color green, Joey's favorite. He's funny to be around, you know what I mean? Like just a genuine good person and it's, it's hard to describe in words just how great he was. Back in June of 2022, Roberson and several other people were at a party when Liam O'Malley and Evan Wasco showed up to confront someone else. The argument carried outside and Roberson was trying to talk to the two men at their car. According to witnesses, that's when Wasco shot Roberson in the head, fleeing the scene with O'Malley and another person in the car, leaving Roberson on the side of the road. He died later at the hospital. Last year, Wasco pleaded guilty to third-degree murder, O'Malley pleading guilty to possession of a firearm and terroristic threats. Before a judge sentenced both men, members of Roberson's family spoke in court about the hole his death has left in their family and asked the judge for a harsh sentence. The judge sentenced Wasco to 20 to 40 years in prison. O'Malley was sentenced to three to seven years. Lackawanna County District Attorney Mark Powell says the family is pleased with the outcome, but it won't bring their son back. They're hurting. They'll never heal, unfortunately. Today does bring some degree of closure, but of course when you lose a son, especially a son like Joey, uh, that loss is forever. Jason Tavella attended North Pocono High School with Roberson. He says his life hasn't been the same since. It's been a rough while. Um, Losing a best friend like that, like we knew each other for 10 years, like we grew up together, and then just having someone in your life like that just vanish, it's, it's hard. Roberson was about to begin his senior year when he was murdered, and his friends say it was hard to enjoy the last year of school without him. On graduation day when I had to sit next to an empty chair and turn his tassel for him, and seeing Joey's dad like get the diploma for him was really, really tough, especially because he wasn't able to get it himself because of this. Wasco has been in the Lackawanna County Prison since his arrest. O'Malley was taken into custody and transported to the prison following today's sentencing. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16, reporting live in Scranton.